Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video. The series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is expected to drop for week one of Palace's Autumn 2022 collection. Oh, big things guys! The first week of Palace's Autumn 2022 season and I'm covering it on a Thursday! Week 1 coverage the day before. Damn, look at me go. <laughs> well, actually, the main reason that I'm like really pushing myself to uh, stay up this late and cover this release is because it's um, my mum's birthday celebrations on Friday. So I was like, ah, oh, look, I can't. I can't skip the B-Day and, you know, cover this for the YouTube and, you know, I can't, um, and vice, you know, vice versa, I can't, uh, go to the birthday and then not cover this for you guys, so I was like, ah, uh, okay, gotta get it done, gotta get it done, let's do it, let's cover the biggest week in Palace's season while I'm exhausted, let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot. There, like it's week one. There is so much releasing in this first week. Thankfully, Max Merch More has it covered for us. But man, this is going to be a long video because there is a lot to talk about. Uh, what we'll do is we'll cover the release details for week one. We'll cover uh, all the individual pieces releasing in week one. And then we'll cover my thoughts and opinions on the pieces and the week as a whole. Uh, let's head on over to that Max Merch More post now, and we'll start covering the release details for week one. Okay, here we are, guys. We Here we are at the Max Merch More Instagram post. I would highly recommend you go follow them. They are wonderful, always doing the latest drop lists uh, for weeks well before they actually are scheduled to drop. Uh, this was posted literally two hours ago. I was going to cover it even earlier than that just as it was posted, but I've had to hype myself up to do, cover this because, yeah, we are just... Just look at that. Like, Jesus. Like, week one. Oh, my God. We're going to be here forever. Look at it all. It's just crazy. Week one. And then after this, there'll be like 10 pieces a week. It'll die down and everyone will stop caring about Palace's latest season. <laughs> Except for obviously, you know, you returning guys that watch every uh, week's drop list. Joe, I obviously love to you guys because um, you're the real ones. But yeah, week one brings the crowd and then everyone disperses after week one generally. But yeah, we'll cover it nonetheless. So let's get into these release details for week one. Palace Autumn 2022 week one full expected drop list. Now to make a note on this. This is the most accurate information we have on what is dropping this week, but week one is always the most inaccurate when it comes to forecasting on what we're actually going to get because they like to keep it under wraps as much as possible. So if there is an item showcased in this Max Merch More post here, I would still be there on Friday just in case if I wanted that piece because I mean, it may not drop the piece that you're after, but if it's mentioned in this Max Merch More, I would be there just in case. Just in case. Because you don't want to take that risk if there is a piece in from this week that you do really want from the season, essentially. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd mention that as well. Uh, all items will be releasing in-store and online Friday, August 5th, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Instagram's already converted that to the US. Look at that, amazing. 11 a.m. British Standard Time. Bada Bing, G, B, Great Britain, there we go. Estimated price list will be posted Thursday evening, so stay tuned to their Instagram and you can find out what the estimated prices are. The Champion collaboration will be in-store only. I felt kind of shafted by that one because I'm a fan of Palace and I'm a fan of Champion. I got like Champion reverse weaves in every single color. And yeah, they're collaborating and it's in-store only. I don't live in the UK, I live bloody all the way down below, you know, I don't live anywhere near that. I'm not going to be able to pick any of it up, so that's going to be a bit of a bummer when we get to whatever page that's on, because I'll be like, oh, geez, sick, can't even buy it. <laughs> but we'll cover it anyway. Uh, yeah, and of course, just like the post says, let me know which is your favourite piece in the week down in that comment section below. So yeah, it's dropping this Friday. Worldwide release uh, in-store online on their online stores, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the U.S. online store, 
11 a.m. British Standard Time for the UK online store. The UK online store is palaceskateboards.com. The US online store is, oh, I can never remember the URL for it. Is it us.palaceskateboards.com? It's something like that. So hit up either of those stores, depending on which region you're copying from. Um, it's also dropping a day later in Japan and China, Saturday, the 6th of August, uh, WeChat store for China and then, uh, in store and online for Japan. Uh, if you guys have any further questions about where, when it's dropping, etc., etc., just drop them down in that comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can there. But, uh, yeah, now that we have covered all the release details, now we got to get into that monumental task of covering everything in the week, and this is a big week. Let's dive into this first page, guys. See what we're going to be getting in week one. Okay, so to kick off page one, we obviously have the heavy hitting piece. It is the Greek Varsity Jacket. Now, this was showcased as the first thing in the lookbook. It was no surprise that it was going to come out in week one, as generally the first piece showcased in the lookbook or the heavy hitting jacket and at least the first couple images of the lookbook is going to come out in week one. They want to grip you with that week one and then it all kind of fades off. <laughs> but you know, they got to get the people excited for the autumn season. So they got to get them in on week one. So yeah, it's releasing in all of its colors in the red and the blue uh, with, the, I got to say, a really nice color choice for the uh, font. We got silver or gray for the blue and we got yellow for the red. I like both colors, but they're probably in collaboration with Golden Bear, or maybe they're not. Either way, they're going to be dumb, dumb money. Um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't even want to say, oh, I consider pickering it up. Nah, man, the price is just going to be too bonkers. I'd rather go on eBay, vintage varsity jacket, and pick one up, because it, <laughs> it would just be so much cheaper. Next, we have the Mountain Parker coming in a blue, a yellow, a black. Um, some solid colors. Uh, it's got a grid pattern on the various different panels of it. We saw this one in the lookbook as well. I'm not a huge fan of Parker's or this type of jacket silhouette, but I know you guys are. Let me know if you're interested in the Mountain Parker at all. We've got the Reflector jacket coming in a tree, purple, black. Um, yeah, I mean, if, again, if you're a fan of this type of jacket, go for it. Got a 3M logo on it and potentially more 3M details as well, like the line that goes over the hood there and the palace logo on the hood. Uh, yeah, there'd be little details like on the, on the um, what's it called? The zips and stuff that would be 3M and whatnot. Moving on down, we have the tabloid denim jacket, which has all of these newspapers chucked all over it. Kind of a cool print design. I actually like it in the newspaper color, the black and white over here. But the blue one isn't too bad either. Like, you know, it's an alright color. Um, again, I talked about it in this Kip Summer 2 2022 video. I have recently bought some all over print or large print denim jackets. Um, or I should say denim jackets with large designs on them. So I'm going to hold off on that for a little while because I've like, you know, I've got enough of those. More looking towards basic denim jackets these days. We've got a garment dyed jacket in an olive pink and gray. This is gray, but that's a very purpley gray. Uh, yeah, look, it's a nice wash to it. It's a nice dye to it. If you like that really um, over dyed or um, really washed out dyed look, this is perfect. And it's on a nice little chore jacket as well. You know, got that, you know, silhouette, the four pockets or vertical ones. You could store a lot of stuff in that. So yeah, I could get around it. I actually don't mind it in the gray color. It's all right. Then we got the matching bottoms to the reflector jacket, the reflector bottoms going to come in the camo, the purple, and it does come in a black, but I guess that's all we can fit on page one. So we'll have to move on to page two. But before we do that, my favorite piece on page one. I mean, do I even have to say <laughs> it's going to be the varsity jacket because I love my varsity jackets, the silhouette that got me into vintage clothing. So it's always going to have a place in my heart, you know, so of course it's going to be that one, but I cannot afford it. <laughs> so we were hitting those struggles, you know, it is what it is, but that is page one. Picked my favorite piece. Let me know your favorite piece on page one, but we'll move on over now to page two. Uh, page two has the reflector bottoms in black. Crazy. Who saw that one coming? Well, we did, but there we go. They come into black. Got the tabloid denim, which 
That goes crazy in the white and black. That's crazy. I love it. I love it. Um, I don't have any all over print denim, but I'm just, I'm too thick, guys. I'm a, I'm a US 40, maybe even leaning to a 42. It's got huge legs, huge, huge legs. And I can't fit into any of this stuff. Because <laughs> Ballas, Ballas goes up to what, like a 36, 38? Your boy's not fitting in any of that. Um, I'd have to drop like 20 kilos to fit into that stuff. Like, yeah, I don't even consider myself like a like a, a large guy width-wise, but I just can't fit into this stuff. So would I like it? Yes. Can I wear it? Fortunately not. We've got the garment dyed cargo trousers to match the chore jacket that we saw before. Not really into it as much, but they are some nice colors. If you want some like, I guess, alternate styled colored cargos, then this would be a good option because you know, obviously cargos are more in like traditional army type colors. So if you want something with a little bit of spice to them, there you go. We've got the slat one quarter zip hoodie. Uh, coming with what I think is a little pocket here and a quarter zip down here. I actually kind of like that look. I just wish it didn't have a huge palace logo on it. You know what I mean? Like I like its technical details and its paneling. Why did we have to throw a huge palace logo on here? Most likely because it's a streetwear brand and you know, we love doing those type of things with streetwear brands, but would have been nice not to have it. Either way, it comes in a green, a blue, a gray, and a black. Next, we talk about the Adidas stuff. We've got the Adidas Palace EQT Crew Off White. Um, it's not too bad. I don't mind this. It's, you know, it's got um, typical Adidas logos, a little bit of Palace branding on it. It's not too exciting, but if you just like it, the co-branded collabs, there you go. Nice little crew neck. Comes in a green as well, if you want it in that green. Next, we move into the Zebra tie-dye hoodie in a black sand and teal they look kind of gross and the patch on the arm there with the different colors reminds me a bit too much of stone island um yeah odd very very odd so uh yeah that is page two guys we'll have to move on to page three my favorite piece from page two was going to go to the tabloid denim unfortunate i cannot rock them but uh that is everything there let me know your favorite piece on page two well, let's move to page three and moving into page three, guys, we have another one of the zebra tie dye hoodies coming in a pink. I would have to say probably the most appealing color because the patch matches the overall tie dye, but it's still like a uh, hoodie to me. We got the slant zip joggers coming in a green, blue, marl, or black. Uh, we've got the Adidas Palace EQT pants coming in the off white and the green to match the crewnecks. We got the bag crew coming in an olive, coming in a white, coming in a black. Look, as much as I'm like, ah, not a huge fan of this piece because of the bag, they've done it very, very well with the colors, the placement of everything. It's just not for me, but I have to like say it is a nice piece and I can see why a lot of people are getting around it. It's cool. It's cool. It's definitely just not for me though. Reminds me a lot of the, um, like the East pack, uh, undercover pieces. Next, we've got the Tri Digi hoodie with a uh, triferg done in a Digi camo type thing uh, on it. It comes in the navy, the olive, the purple, the orange, the blue, and the gray. Don't mind the gray or the navy. Uh, my favorite piece from page three, like the Tri Digi hoodies are okay, very palace, but I do think I should highlight the bag crew, even though it's not for me. Is an awesome piece that you just don't see Palace doing a lot, and I feel like it needs its spotlight. So I feel like page three has to go to the bag crew neck, a really unique piece, really solid piece. I'd say pick it up. If, you, if you're on the fence about it, pick it up, because I don't think I'd see something like this again, and it'll, it'll might sell out, honestly. Um, so yeah, some solid colors. That's everything in page three though, guys. Let's move to page four. Page four has a couple more Digi hoodies on it. We've got the Tri Digi in the black and the white. The white's actually quite nice. I like the snowy camo on that one as well. We've got a quarter zip Palace uh, London funnel. I, don't, I actually like this. This is all right. Comes in a purple, a green, a gray, and a black. Solid colors, easy font, nice. We've got the rose knit vest in a black, gray. And they're the only colors. I really wanted this embroidered graphic detailing on some other pieces like a denim jacket or a crew neck or something 
but they left it on a silhouette that I'm still like on the fence about, which is a knit vest. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on it, but it's a shame that this graphic isn't being used elsewhere. We got the Palace Pain shirt coming in a multicolor. Nah, um, miss me with that. <laughs> we got the Jesus uh, Gillette Brown or Gillette, I don't know. Brown, navy. It, the back graphic is just as horrible. Okay. Now moving into, oh man, it's not even that bad. Oh. <laughs> we got the Palace Champion collab. We got the Shop Crew Neck London in the Navy. That looks really nice. We've got it coming in. Uh, the New York one coming in a gray. That looks nice. I love the classic curved collegiate font style. I love that. I used to buy heaps of vintage uh, Champion Crew Necks with that font on it. I love that stuff. Uh, we've got the Tokyo one coming in the green saying Harajuku and then we got Melrose for LA and that burgundy a nice burgundy yeah look it would be awesome to own all four of them you know collect all the all the <laughs> champion palace uh location exclusive crewnecks but yeah it's a shame that we can't buy them online but I, I do have to respect them for having like in-store exclusives for this season I think that's a cool way to handle it cool way to get the people in the store you know we got the Palace Pain Trousers coming in a multicolor, just like the t-shirt or the button-up shirt. Mm. It's me with that. Okay, well that is page four, guys. Uh, I think my favorite piece would have to go to the Palace uh, Champion ones, with my favorite being maybe the London one or the Tokyo one. Um, yeah, London or Tokyo. But Melrose is really nice as well. It's a solid piece, done in a couple different variations. Very cool. But uh, yeah, that's everything on page four. Let me know your favorite piece from page four. We'll move on to page five. Yeah. <laughs> we start off with a very wacky piece. We've got the inertia font polo in the pink, navy, black, and it's a short sleeve one. Uh, miss me with that. We've got a t-shirt for the Palace Champion collab with um, it being, I guess, reversed this time around. Instead of it, um, you know, the I, I, the green being the exterior of the, or well, the, the majority of the piece, it's now the font. And instead of the white being the font, it's now the majority of the piece. I like the Tokyo one. I like all of them, actually. They're very easy colors to wear. <laughs> They're very easy to wear. Yeah, I'll pick up any of those. Uh, again, I think my favorite would have to be actually my favorite might go to the Melrose and the Harajuku one now uh, We've got the palace pain waffle long sleeve coming in a multi No, it's just a no We've got the rose chain shirt coming in the navy white and black. I love all three colors This is one of my favorite pieces. I saw in the lookbook not good for an autumn season, but perfect for the summer season Love a piece like this then we've got the baggies jeans in a stonewash. Nice. I like it. Simple. Comes in an indigo. Comes in a black. Comes in a white. I'm a fan of all four colors. Give them all to me in a size 40 palace and I'm on board, but you won't. <laughs> um, next we have the cargo sweat shorts in a navy. Nice little pair of sweat shorts there. Easy done. Can't complain about that at all. And uh, yeah, guys, that's everything on page five. Actually a really solid page, except for those first three items. Those are disgusting. Uh, and that cr and this long sleeve over here, that is awful. But apart from that, yeah, pretty solid page five. My favorite pieces would have to go to the Rose Chain shirts or the Champion um, collaborative tees as well. They're really cool. But uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite pieces are on page five. Move on over now and head on over to page six. Kick off page six, we have the cargo sweats in the short, ah, uh, the cargo sweat shorts in the olive, black, and gray. Again, some solid colors. Don't mind the black, didn't mind the navy. Got the relaxed pants in the brown. I assume there's some kind of like sweat pants or something like that. Um, I mean, they kind of relax kind of makes me think sweatpants, but the silhouette is very much like a pair of jeans or something like that. But yeah, uh, solid in the brown, solid in the oat and black. Got the vertical striped t shirt. Nah, not for me. In the yellow, blue, and green. We've got the Greatest Hits tee in a white, green, gray, and black. I like it in the white and black and the black and white. Uh, we've got the Bun 5G t-shirt uh, coming in a green, yellow, and purple. Nah, they're, they're not really for me with those ones there. I think my favorite piece on page, we're up to page six now. Yep, page six. 
would have to be the cargo sweatshorts in the black. Just a nice little pair of uh, shorts there that I can see myself wearing. Yeah. Well, that is everything on page six, guys. I've got four more pages to go. Let's go check out page seven. We have the Bun 5G t-shirt in a pink, navy, white, black, and a gray. Eh, it's all right. We got the Sports Mesh t-shirt, a uh, little t-shirt with uh, inspired by like a soccer jersey uh, done in a mesh to keep it nice and breathable. Comes in a blue, yellow, and a god awful Dalmatian color that we saw in the lookbook, and a black. I think the black would be my favorite, but that's that's a cursed piece over there. That Dalmatian color. Bleh. We got the basically a t-shirt. It's a palace t-shirt. It's basically a t-shirt with just the palace logo on it and a little bit of branding on the ribbing there and stuff. It's, I mean, it's a simple tee. If you like your branded tees, there you go. It comes in a <laughs> petrol, pearl, metal, lilac, navy, gray, black. And I bet you on page uh, eight, it's going to come in a white as well. But uh, yeah, my favorite piece on this page mm, is actually kind of tough. Maybe just the basic, uh, basic, uh, basically a uh, t-shirt in the black because I'm literally always wearing my Uniqlo um, black tees. So yeah, maybe that, maybe that's the go. So yeah, basically a tee in the black. That's kind of depressing page seven, isn't it? But I picked that one. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's move on to page eight. Let's see what we got uh, over there. We have the Shell S Runner coming in the tree camo, and it's probably going to come in the same colors that the uh, Reflecto jacket came in. We have the tabloid denim hat, uh, denim bucket hat, matching the denim pants and jacket. Uh, we've got a tabloid denim six panel as well, in case you're feeling that. We've got the Palace Shop uh, Champion. Well, it doesn't say Champion, but it's obviously, you know, meant to be part of the Champion collab. Um, store exclusive hats i love these i want all four of them they're such simple hats with collegiate font on them love it love it want them all give them to me all we got the palace uh adidas eqt socks and caps and actually mind the caps out of all the pieces that we've seen in that collab in the adidas palace collab i like the caps the most we've got the paloha t-shirt coming in a black gray pink and yellow um, I'm not a fan of that graphic, man. <laughs> it's a bit, uh, ugh. Ugh. anyway. Um, uh, only got two more pages left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bada bing, nine, ten. Two more left. Let's dive in and check out page nine. Okay, some nice, simple six panels. Bio washed 3D P. So the P is going to be 3D, it's going to pop out, probably embroidered, but it's bio wash that means something to do with like friendly to the environment or something bio don't know what that one means but anyway it comes in some nice colors a white a gray a stone a navy a light blue a yellow uh yeah pretty solid i think the white one or the navy one's my favorite We've got the shell face mask p6 panel that's such a crazy and look at this thing you're gonna rock this around you're gonna rock this I don't know, man. Look, I like saying sun safe, but I don't think I think you need your vitamin D capsules if you wear this too much. You're not going to get any sun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ooh, nah. Miss me on those. The mountain bucket hat with the 3D pr with the uh, grid pattern all over it to match the mountain jackets. Nah. We've got the Palasonic cord pal hat in the black, the stone, and the blue. Nice, solid. I like it. I like the colors. Everything like that. We've got the Shell S Runner Black coming uh, in, obviously, a black, purple. And we saw it in the tree before as well, I think. But, uh, yeah, well, that's everything on page 9. I think my favorite piece would have to go to probably the Palasonic hats. I really like the font, the use of cord on it. They're solid. I think my favorite would be the black one. Then. But, uh, yeah, that is everything in page 9. Um, let's move into the final page, which is page 10. Which of course is, you know, the little accessories and stuff they throw in this season. So they, they don't showcase them here, but obviously this includes all of the skateboards that are releasing this season. They'll be dropping on week one, but we have a dog toy, we have a sticker pack, we have one of the skateboards, but all of them are releasing the Palace Sticky Dotes. Which, you know, 
Ooh, it's kind of fun. I like that. Oh, we could use them and then do the, the subscriber milestone thing. Oh. Actually, <laughs> it may be close to 11 p.m., but you know what? That's a bright idea. <laughs> Solid. I'll have to keep my eyes on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the Bonsai Air Freshener. We got the Palace Pocket Notebook coming in green. We got some socks, which look hideous. We've got, you know, a tray, more socks. Ooh, a Zippo lighter. You don't see that too often in Palace season. Yeah, basically a Zippo lighter. We got the London Crest Classic. They grab a motif from the season, put it on a gold necklace. They do it every season. Uh, they'd be cool collectibles, but they're quite expensive. It's like close to 200, um, 200 pounds or whatever it is they uh, 200 euros or whatever it is it's not cheap not cheap we got oh a swiss army knife nice that is a very cool kind of low-key collaborative accessory this season we got the palace incense holder it's got the little holder you just put the incense in there and light it up bam you buy your palace incense as well we got a bio washed 3d p6 panel very nice little piece there uh, i think my favorite piece I mean, I think it'd have to be the sticky notes. Like, we have a practical use here for that on the channel. You know, I could update my subscriber milestone with palace sticky notes. Ooh! <laughs> oh, but we'd eventually run out. Oh, that'd be kind of depressing, wouldn't it? Anyway, yeah, that's a cool little accessory. That's got to be my favorite piece on page 10. But yeah, wow. Oh, guys, I am exhausted. I'm going to wake up at like 6 a.m. tomorrow to bloody go to work, but... I'm gonna try and get this video out for you guys because you need to know the info. But yeah, we have the full drop list Ugh. of week one, Palace's Autumn 2022 collection covered. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Again, it's not gonna be the most accurate drop list for all the weeks for this season, but this is the best information that we have for the drop list for the week. I'd love to hear what pieces you're feeling, what you're not. There's actually quite a few pieces here that I don't mind. Like, I like the Palace uh, Champion stuff. I like some of the hats. Some of the accessories are kind of fun. And obviously, I'm a big sucker for the Varsity jacket that I can't afford. But, yeah. Oh, and the denim jacket's quite nice as well. Especially in the black and white. But, yeah. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on week one. You know, what you're feeling, what you're not. Down in that comment section below. But, that's it covered, guys. <sighs> What a long video. I'm gonna try and get this out to you before I pass out. <laughs> uh, we covered week one of the autumn 2022 season. Uh, it's dropping Friday, August 5th, 2022, obviously, or on the 6th, if you live in Japan or China. Uh, we're getting a lot of stuff for week one, but that's very traditional of Palace. You know, they always make week one the banging week to kick off the season. Uh, some collaborative pieces, some nice seasonal pieces in this week, all around pretty solid. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on week one of Palace's Autumn 2022 collection and what you're going to be picking up from this week. If you are picking up something from this week, what are you grabbing from week one? Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming Palace seasons, releases, collaborations, and drops in general, you got to give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, third and final one, subscribe to the channel. Now, as mentioned in previous uploads, I'm trying to aim for a subscriber milestone of 3,415 subs for the end of the month, hopefully. You tell two mates, they tell two mates, etc, etc. Hopefully we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But that's all I have to say, guys. I don't know if you can progressively tell, but my eyes are just getting smaller and smaller, man. I just do go to sleep. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, I'll try and get the video out for you guys. I'll try my best. But God damn, I'm tired. <laughs> I can be like, oh my God, I have to keep my eyes awake. Oh, let's get this video edited and uploaded. I'm gonna do it for you fellas. Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck for week one. I hope you managed to pick up the items that you are looking for for week one. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, until then, oh man, no. Um, what do I always say? Uh, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Droplist video, until the next Palace video, guys. I'll catch you later.